culinary people. Mama. Um, ciao. Anyway, a horror movie. So these children, their mom or someone. Oh, they end up in the woods. And then this supernatural being takes care of them and they survive. And then they come back to this house with family members i can't remember a family member and they just take care of them and the mama the supernatural being haunts them the premise of it is like a good idea like that's kind of creepy like how was the supernatural being taking care of these kids and i remember watching it and falling asleep in the first 30 minutes and then retrying and then fell asleep again princess diaries oh whatever are you serious when i was little I love the movie. Obsessed with that. Everything about it. But then, as I got older, mm -hmm. why couldn't she, as herself, be a princess? Why did she have to go through makeover to make herself beautiful when she was already beautiful? She's got a point. The third one, Child's Play. I said, talk to me, damn it! Oh I think Chucky is so. Um, except one child's play I think is good the bride of Chucky I think is good the TV series I love the TV series oh it's so good child's play child's play one child's play three in the 80s and 90s I just think it's dumb and the acting was horrible it all came at me I'm just gonna punch it in the face like I don't know why all these people are like I'm so scared Why does my hand look like a turkey? No, why is my hand really that big? Why is my fingers that long? No, oh, I'm gonna get hate for this. But personally for me, I just don't like the story. I don't like the like storyline. I think the visual effects are amazing. I just could never get into Avatar. And that's why I'm saying I don't like it. Not because it's not a good movie, just because personally I can't get into it. The fifth one is Alice in Wonderland. Since I was a little kid, I think it's so one weird, two strange, strange and weird, three I think it's just stupid and annoying. Damn! The next one is Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. To keep all the great big chocolatey flavor inside. And for your salt, it's very how. They're just touring the chocolate factory for what? And I remember when I, was, I watched it when I was little and I had nightmares for weeks. So maybe that's why I don't like it either. The reason why I don't like this movie is for the simple fact that when I was in elementary school, whenever we had a free day or it was like the day before break, we watch it and it just became we would watch it, we would watch it, we would watch it so many times. I think I probably watched it over a hundred times just in school. And that's why I don't like it. I used to love it. Then we overwatched it. That's why I don't like it. Toy Story 3. Yeah. One and two, amazing. And four, amazing. Forky, love him. You know. The same one goes for this one, Ratatouille. Just to keep turning it. <laughs> Overplayed, overdone. Literally probably watched it over a hundred times. I used to like it. I used to think it was so cool that like the rap was like on the guy's head. And you know what I mean? I thought that was amazing. But then after like watching it so many times, I'm like, this is annoying. It's overplayed. Nightmare on Elm Street. Personally, I don't find Freddy scary. Again, I'll gut you like a fish. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I see that knife you got and that is not a knife for gutting fish. Do what? That's a vegetable knife. I find it laughable and I laugh out loud and I'm like, like he's haunting you in your dreams. Like, mm, you know, honestly, and then like some of them, there's like based on sleep and or some of them just like try taking their life. But for me, I just think like that thing's laughable. 
the killer is not scary to me my i already have nightmares so hey let's go guys i personally hate this movie because one the fact and the only well there's more facts but the main big reason is what happened to judy garland on the film and that's why i don't choose to support it and that's why i choose i don't like it it's either because of all what happened to her and how she got s on set by the munchkins produce or was the director or producers correct me if i'm wrong but they like would and like do things to her and to have a diet of just cigarettes and um coffee i think because they wanted her to be skinny and then she just like after the movie she just like went downhill in the spiral that is today's video i hope y'all enjoy it 